Are we seriously becoming friends with a toilet right now? Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla and we are currently doing the 100 baby challenge. Right now we are at a total of 17 kids. That includes the one in the tummy. We just had baby Nathan. He is so adorable. Uh, the kids went to school today, but they were not skilled up enough. We're just trying not to ruin their holiday and let them watch the TV season premiere. And then they're going to get working on some skills. Mom is a little bit tired. She's doing quite well. I think we're going to have her get some leftovers and then maybe cook a little bit. I don't really even know what's in the fridge anymore, but... We're gonna make some mac and cheese when she's done eating. Evelyn is gonna have to go potty, okay. Aw, my three big kids. Look at them just having fun. Okay, so Evelyn, what are you needing? Level three in a skill. Oh yeah, so she likes to practice making some drinks. So she's gonna go do that. And Levi, you need, oh boy, you need to get up there too. He loves painting, so I'm going to have him finish his painting. And Leo, he needs to get to four. Now, he also likes painting. Ugh. Okay, well, he's going to come over here and continue doing his shapes. Nathan is awake, but he's not fussy right now. I think that's enough sleep for you, Mom. You are doing quite well. She is, I tell you, she is always doing fantastic. Okay, Levi, why are you eating a piece of cake? And he didn't finish doing this. We really got to get him going on that. And so Lucas is doing really good, too. He is level two in all communication, imagination, and potty. His movement is good. He's got to get his thinking up a bit, but he's going to play with the llama. So you know what? I'm going to let him play with that llama for a little bit. Kayla does things so differently than what I tell her. I told her to eat and then make mac and cheese. She decided she was going to make the mac and cheese because she wanted to eat the mac and cheese. I just don't know about her sometimes. Mom, what are you doing? She really doesn't need to do anything. <laughs> Quit washing the dishes. Ugh. She keeps running. She keeps just wasting all of that money. Okay, since we just got pregnant, our second trimester does not start until tomorrow. So I'm going to come over here and I think I'm going to write a love e email. Oh my goodness. So this is the newest baby dad. We're currently pregnant with his baby. But everyone else is looking so old, all the other baby dads. That is going to be a train wreck once they all start dying. Okay, so Ken looks a little funky, but we're okay with that. I'm going to write a little love email to Ken because I think that he'll be like the next baby dad. Oh, Evelyn's really got a potty. Now how about you take care of that hunger and then take care of... <laughs> really? Just go to the bathroom. Uh-oh, Mom. Super efficient baby care of this baby. It's okay, Nathan. Okay, we cannot write another love email. So I'm going to write... I don't know. Go write a book. Love me once. And never again. Nope. This is romance book. About a mom who has many lovers but no long term love there we go all right he's pretty tired but he needs to get i don't know i wish these kids would kind of get their skills up a little bit more here nice put that in your inventory uh -uh. okay fine i will do it and then when you're done doing that, you can draw some more. Just going to have him do a bunch of that. Mom's writing. She is feeling it. In a flirty mood and everything. Perfect. 
Leo's playing a bit of gaming. He's actually getting his motor skill up there faster. So even though he wants to be artistic, I think we're going to just let him kind of game out a little bit. Oh, look at these boys. Staying out till almost midnight, playing video games. Typical. Hey, Lucas, what are you doing? Oh, he's just taking care of himself. He's like, ah, uh, well, I did imagination a little bit, but my communication's low, so I'm going to go over there and do that, too. It's just... Oh, don't hit! No, no, no. I thought he was going to go and hug. How about we hug and babble? Yeah, that's much better, Lucas. I am so glad I caught that. I really thought that he was going to go and hug him or talk to him. I cannot believe he was going to just hit him. Okay, Leo has reached motor skill level three. Ooh, what are you doing here? All right, Lucas, you are communication level three. Perfect. So why don't you head on over and go play with some more dolls? Thank you. <laughs> Was he just measuring with his hand? That's funny. It's like looking at his thumb like, oh, yeah, I think it's perfect. Awesome, Levi. You are good to go. You didn't do your homework? Where is your homework? Where did he put his homework down? I have been having an issue with not knowing where any of their homework has gone. They keep setting it down somewhere. And I don't have anywhere that they could found it. Do your homework, mister. Yeah, we're going to get your homework done and then you're going to go to sleep. So then we know that you are at least ready for school in the morning. Evelyn, how are you? Did you do your homework? You didn't do your homework either. Oh, good job. Lucas has officially reached level three on that. We could be aging you up soon, boy. Mom, you really need to pee, but she is in the zone with this book for the first time. It's almost Nathan's birthday. Oh, Nathan's birthday's tomorrow. So today is Friday, which means when they go to school, whoever does not age up today is going to have to wait the entire weekend, which even if Kayla were to have her baby on the weekend, we would still, you know, be able to have twins. So that's good. I'm calling to let you know that a close friend, Carl, has passed away. What? Carl? Nathan? Is that Nathan? <gasps> what? Oh, how is that? Po what? How is that possible? He was... He was just so young. Where's Carl? Carl! I hope you forever live with your shirt off. Oh my god, Carl! He was... He was literally the last baby dad. Before the one in the tummy. Like... I understand that Caleb's dad, Lawson, died, but Carl? Oh, oh that poor guy. Oh. Well, I'm glad that we uh, got to have a little bit of fun with him. I wonder what happened to Carl. Oh. We were lovebirds. Oh, Carl, you're going to be missed. Yeah. Oh, why are you so sad? You had a potty accident? Mom, how about you come over here and mop up some stuff? Get some of that stuff cleaned. Is she all right? Okay, so she's mourning the loss of a good friend. I mean, okay. Well, that's okay. She's still feeling all right right now. So she's feeling very confident. So hopefully she's not affected by it too much. Evelyn has a hairy chest. Put that down and start on your homework, please. You're asleep, but sleeping very uncomfortably maybe you know what how about you go and wake up and go and sleep in mom's bed all right lucas be done with the blocks a little bit go potty let's get that done you're so close oh look at our big boy he's just having such a good sleep 
I wonder what he is dreaming about. Okay, I need to take care of your fun and social. Oh, he's dreaming about a little dragon, dude. Makes sense. Kids are going to be going to school soon, so I better make sure that their moods are good. How about you get up and go and eat? How are you? You're good with the sleep department. You're sleeping and then you're going to take a piece of cake. I don't think so, Missy. You're not having cake for breakfast. Awesome! He reached level 3 in potty! Alright, head to sleep. Because you were up all night playing on your blocks and going potty. Oh, Cynthia, you look so sad. What's wrong, my dear? You walked right past mom's house and you didn't even stop and say hi? Wow. That's nice of you. Okay, see you, Levi. Bye, Evelyn. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot Levi likes to steal. Okay, Levi's off to school. Evelyn's off to school. Leo, you're going to be late. Walk a little bit faster. Bye, Leo. You have a great day. And I hope you all study very hard for me at school. Thank you. Okay, Lucas is doing quite well. I feel like since the kids are at school, I'm going to invite to hang out at the current lot. I don't know. Everyone is kind of getting old. Um, ooh, doesn't really like me. How do you guys not like me? Like, what did I do? We'll invite Ken over. We'll also invite Derek over. I'm just going to kind of go through and see who we can um, have as baby dads. Oh, Keegan. Keegan, are you going to be the first one to show up at the door? Okay, I like it. Invite you in. How's it going? Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. This is the one I'm going to talk about fitness instantly to the video games. Oh, oh, this guy likes to have a good time. He is straight up pouring himself a drink. <laughs> okay. And he's good at making drinks. Okay. I see you. Ooh, look at that. I learned that Derek is a romantic person. Oh, exchange your secret love day cards. Leo decided a handcrafted card for their crush, complete with pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. But because who doesn't love dinosaurs? <laughs> Leo just decided that he should let it slip that it was him who made the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. I think everyone just, you know, let's secretly drop it in their cubby and see what happens. Oh, no, it was never found. I'm sorry, Leo. Oh, we're celebrating. What are we having fun day about? Let's share the love day spirit. Oh. They're kind of getting, like, romantic here without me even trying to get them romantic. This is <laughs> kind of interesting, Mom. <laughs> She's just having the greatest time with all these guys. Go and repair that a little bit. Who broke it? Did you break it and then you're just going to sit there and pretend like you're reading, Keegan? We see right through that. You know that, right, Keegan? Like, you don't look like you like books. You look like you like to be on the video games. Purchase some gifts. We can give you an apple. That's so weird. Okay, he's a romantic person. What will we give a, a romantic person? Reel her in? We can give you that book and a rose. Roses are so expensive. Oh my gosh. Oh, he is in such a good flirty mood. Ken's over there is not interested. I sent you two love emails, Ken. Do you like it? Oh, he doesn't like it. Okay, well, sorry, I have to go to the potty. I thought he was going to like it, but he didn't. Let's just have some deep conversation, and maybe we'll, like, discuss your likes and dislikes. They seem like they're having more fun of a time. We cannot let this happen. We did not invite you over to get interested in each other. Keegan. 
Were you trying to leave? And I'm giving you my expensive rose? He didn't like it. It's love day. Let's go super efficient baby care this baby. Oh, charisma level eight. Invent new hashtags and perform enchanting introductions on other sims. Hey mom, you gotta go take care of your baby. Quit talking with all the guys. You look... I don't know. Big eyed, we got a hairy guy here. Ken's leaving. He's like, you have not been giving me attention. I'm sorry, Ken, it's the eyes. Let's try and throw in a little bit of a flirt. We're not that great of friends with him. What is, what's going on? <gasps> no, 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 no. I don't think so. <clears throat> nope, you don't get to leave. I will lock you in the room if you try to leave. We need to chat it up a little bit more than that. Because we're going to be in our third trimester next in the next day. So kiss his hands and sweet talk him. First kiss. We got to get a little kiss in before the kids get home from school, okay? Ooh. Extra steamy. I oh, hope Derek like that. Let's blow him a kiss. Oh, he's thinking about He's like, oh, that was too much. I got to go and clean up myself. Okay, you go have fun. Get some leftovers, Mom, because you're probably hungry. And then you can head to sleep. Oh, we can woohoo with him. Yay, Levi has been working hard and is now a high school A student. Leo can do a little bit more. That's fine. Evelyn's a grade A student. Woo! Oh, my God. Levi swiped an object while at school. What did you swipe? A plate? Why are you crying? Go and have fun. And then eat and then go get your energy up. Leo, you're feeling very playful. How about you go and take a shower? Oh, and you're tired. Go take a shower and then, uh, no, don't nap on the couch. How about you actually go to sleep? Come on, Lucas. Yay, Lucas. Good job. You were totally awesome. So Lucas is all good to go. He can 100% age up. A so he will no longer be a toddler. Tomorrow is Nathan's birthday. Uh-oh, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, Mark wants to go out on a date. Do you know what? Mom needs to go out on a date. It's love day. Let's go out on a date with Mark. Aw, he's getting so old. This is uh, Destiny's dad. So <laughs> we'll go out on a date with him. See how he's doing, you know. Oh, hey. How about we share the big news and tell him, like, hey, we're pregnant again. But you look great. He's like, yeah, I'm really growing into this gray. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we know you? Are you a dad? Oh, wait, you are a dad. Okay. Sorry, Salvador. Love the new look on you, though. Who do we have here? Dawn! Oh my gosh, Dawn, you're looking so old, too. Oh, everybody is just looking so old. It's crazy. Look at these toilets. What the heck? He like a champion? You can talk to it? A friendly chit-chat? That is the most weirdest thing ever. This is the weirdest toilet ever. I've never seen it like this before. Is this toilet really talking to us? Potty Mouth 2.0? I know I got asked out on a date by Mark, but this is just too funny. Are we seriously becoming friends with a toilet right now? Tell it a joke. I never want to play cards with you. Your flush will always beat my pair of deuces. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so great. Do you want to hear a poop joke? Never mind, it's too corny. That is so gross. <laughs> oh my god. Those are some funny jokes. We're like seriously the best friends with this potty. Uh-oh, you're in trouble? <laughs> I just can't. Okay, I guess we made friends with a toilet. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Don't call me ever. What? 
Why are you so upset with me, Mark? You invited me out. What? Whatever, Mark. That is fine with me. I'm going to go over here and ask how you're doing. I think we're going to just head home. She is going to be in her third trimester in nine hours. That was a nice date. And then Mark said he'll never talk to us again. Hello, family. Mom is back home. How's everyone doing? Oh, look at you. Leo is playing some chess. Evelyn's just watching some TV. Levi is over here with Lucas. They're hanging out talking. He's going to listen. Oh, he's going to ask him to play. He's like, I like video games. I just learned a new trick. Oh, he's teaching him. My kids are the best ever. It's Nathan's birthday. Okay, I think we are going to age up Nathan. Nathan aged up and he is fussy. Nice. So nice of Nathan to age up and be a fussy child. Oh, look at Nathan's first step. So cute. And he is sad. Oh, because he's mourning the loss of his dad. I forgot. And why are you sad? Oh, you had a potty accident. It's okay. Oh, is there anything I can do to Nathan to make him feel better? Oh, I wish I could just make you feel all the way better. Poor Nathan lost his daddy and he's so sad. That really makes me so sad. All right, let's get the kids' his moods up, and then we're going to age them up. Levi is having a hard time because he had an awful love day, and his social skill is so low. I feel so bad. Like, he seriously came on here and is finding a pen pal. So, you poor child. I didn't know. Do my kids need to be able to have friends and love do they need to find that special someone before they're off and out of my house maybe i should do that evelyn's just over here like it's okay bro like don't worry about it bro she wants to be in a dirty environment i don't know what to do for you child why are you sad now oh just because she's a gloomy person uh, that's right okay you poor thing, Levi. I did not know Levi was going to be so sad about Love Day. Mom just, like, went out on a date and talked with a bunch of people, made best friends with a toilet. All right, it is time to age up Evelyn. She is officially going to be moved out of the house. Woohoo! She's an A student, our perfect little girl who is just so gloomy all the time. Okay, she is erratic. Makes sense. And let's see what she is going to have as an aspiration. She wants to be a best-selling author. She's also a slob, gloomy, and erratic. So that makes kind of sense. She wants to just, you know, stick to her book writing Maybe she'll write some really sad stories that just get you right in the heart strings, you know? And then, Levi, it is your turn. Come blow out your candles. There's our big boy. Oh, no. oh Mom's celebrating her boy. So, so far, he is a glutton. He likes to steal. And he is mean. Oh my gosh, this is quite. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's a random number. One. So he's a bodybuilder who loves to eat, likes to steal, and is very mean to people. That is our little Levi there. Oh, our big guy. Everyone sent you a gift. How about you come over and add some birthday candles? Lucas, mom's going to help Lucas blow out candles. What are you doing? She's standing there with foggy brain. Oh my God, Evelyn, put some clothes on. What are you doing? She's showering in the rain. You're in the house. Oh my goodness. Okay, Lucas, yay. 
Yif de May, Lucas. Don't worry about Evelyn over there. <laughs> okay, we have a vegetarian, so now we have to be careful with what we feed him. <gasps> okay, and what are you gonna do? Four. Social butterfly who is a vegetarian and a wild child. Ooh, look at him. And so now that you're aged up, you know what that means. You gotta do your homework. There's my baby boy. Oh, Levi, you're so sweet. Okay, you guys, it's time for you to move out. They're all gone now. Oh, goodness. So now we only have Leo, we have Lucas, and we have Nathan. Nathan, how you doing, Bob? Okay, so he's gonna be over losing his dad here soon. <laughs> It sounds so sad to say that, but it's true. Okay, Mom, you need to come over here and write a love email. We need to write a love email, too. Let's see. Keegan, wow, that's quite the look. They're really all changing their looks quite a lot. Let's go write a love email to Derek. Once again, the slide worked perfectly for getting his movement up to level three. I know, I know, Nathan. Six more hours and then you will be forgetting all about your dad. Oh, that is so sad. Poor Carl. We are going to try and call over Derek. It is 10 o'clock. Maybe he's not quite sleeping yet, but 10 o'clock usually they are. Let's see. I just want to see because she usually gives birth in the middle of the night. Okay, he's going to be right over. Perfect. Okay, I just don't want her to end up having her baby in the middle of the night and then not have anyone to woohoo and we have to wait. Do you want to stay the night? A sleepover sounds great. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about you. Oh, did you just cut? He just came in and is like gone to bed. He snores. Derek snores, guys. Thank you so much for teaching him that, Leo. Excuse me. Yeah, discipline and a calm. Hug it out. It's okay. He's having a hard time. He lost his dad. So we're going to just hug him out a little bit. Then we'll ask him if we can potty train him again. Leo is in the tub playing with his little monster thing. <laughs> okay, I'll quit, I'll quit checking up on you. How about you go play some games? Play online games with Levi. I really thought she was going to have her baby in the middle of the night because she seriously always has her baby when it's like nighttime. But this time she didn't. Wow, I guess they just wanted to give each other a kiss. Like, they are so into each other. Kayla has gone into labor and he is literally trying to leave right now. No, 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 no. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Don't leave. Okay, be done with that, Kayla. Okay. We cannot have him leave right now. You just got to stay here for three more hours. Let's just kind of sweet talk him. Invite him to feel the baby. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do all the good stuff. We need to cook some food. Alright, this is where you come in, little one. Do a friendly introduction, please, Leo. I need to keep him here for a little bit longer. Mom has got to cook some food. She is tired. She's gonna be giving birth in two hours. Yeah, ask him for some typing tips. This is where Leo is gonna help his mom out so much with hook up with you're gonna tell him to hook up with my mom <laughs> okay leo has helped derek stay here for a little bit longer thank you leo mom is so close to having her baby 17 minutes to go time mom's so uncomfortable okay it's go time we're gonna have baby mom finish your little bite of food and then it's time to have baby it's okay okay it's a boy all right guys because Nathan's dad, Carl, has passed on, I feel like we need to name this baby Carl because we are pregnant with this one when that one 
has passed on. So let's name this one Carl. <gasps> and it's a girl. Okay, now we have another girl. So I'm going to name this one Rose. Thank you, Alicia Bickford, for the name. We had twins. Mom is so uncomfortable, but that's okay. She can go to sleep as soon as she's done having the babies. Oh, no. They both need bottles. Okay. Feed them, Mom. Uh, okay, super efficient baby care. Super efficient baby care of these babies, Mom. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, Leo, you really need to age up tomorrow. <laughs> I need help already. It has just started. That's not what she wants. That's not what Rose needs. Okay, Mom, quit doing that. Come over here and feed her. Oh, they're going to try for a baby anyways. Kayla, you were supposed to feed your child first. And no, wait, no, 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 that is not good. Lucas walked in and he's so mortified. Lucas, get out of here. I don't know. Go play with dolls. I know. I know. I know. Oh my god, Rose. I am so sorry. Hurry up, Kayla. Oh my gosh. Quit having a baby right now. Oh my god. This is so bad. Sparks were flying. She's very energized. Perfect. Get up and go feed her and change your diaper now. Then take a pregnancy test. Oh my gosh, Kayla. She did not listen to what I wanted her to do. She did everything else but what she needed to do. Okay, mom. Oh, she's gonna... F okay. She's gonna pass out on the ground. That's fine. As soon as you do that, you need to wake up and do a pregnancy test, please. She's so uncomfortable. She also has to go potty. She's gonna pee herself. Oh no. Please don't be yourself. Just wake up. Go <laughs> get a pregnancy test done. Okay, are we eating for two? Eating for two! Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Derek. She's going to come over and she's going to chat with him. Let him know that he sealed the deal. Oh, he's excited and happy about that. Okay, Mom, you need to get over here and go to sleep. Like, literally go to sleep. You're about to pass out. Oh, they're being so playful. Oh, they're hugging each other. Okay, well, how would you teach him some shapes? Wow, look at our babies, Carl and Rose. I'm so excited we have twins again, but that was a wild start. Kids are going to be off to school tomorrow morning, and then hopefully we can age up Leo. Okay, now Rose needs a diaper change. So we're going to just do that, and then we'll just feed her, too. Might as well get it all done at once. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, now Carl needs, a needs to be fed. We'll change his diaper, and then we'll uh, bounce him. <laughs> Go from one twin to the next twin. Oh, awesome. Mom just took care of the twins, and now she's going for a little run. And then guess what? Carl is back up because he's got a dirty diaper. What happened here, boys? The boys literally broke the sink, the toilet, and the shower all in one go. Okay, the boys are off to school. Study hard while you guys are at school. Mom, you got all the babies calmed down now? Perfect. Okay, she is feeling very inspired. So maybe she will resume writing her book. And then we also have Nathan here, who is just working extra hard on his blog. So his thinking and potty and communication are the only thing that needs to go up. But he is working fantabulous on that. Hey, hey. Oh, our boy Levi came over. And he just came on the computer. He's going to come and get some of Mom's mac and cheese. Oh, our son just missed all of the mac and cheese. That's okay. You just eat up, my dear. Oh, he's just smelling it like, oh, so delicious. Mom's food. Mom, don't wash that. We need the money. Oh, so cute. Oh, hey, the boys are home. 
Yay, Leo! You're grade A. Lucas, you're a B. Okay, let's take out the cake since uh, Levi is here. Okay, Leo, come inside and blow out your candles. Leo! Oh, look at... Oh, he's jealous. Leo is a little jealous guy? Okay, let's see what his aspiration is going to be. Pick a number between 1 and 11. Here's a random number. 7. 7. 3, 6, 7. Knowledge. Ooh. 1. He wants to be a nerd brain. I don't think we've had anyone that wanted to be anything in the knowledge department yet. So he is our very first nerd brain boy who is quick learner he's a geek and jealous i mean those go together pretty well look at him oh my gosh leo whoa he's like whoa <laughs> levi you came to visit <laughs> oh mom let's go give him a hug all right, you guys, I think that is the perfect place to leave it. We have aged up our son, Leo. He is now a teen. A lot has happened, you know? We had um, our kids move out. We had Levi move out. Oh, I miss him already, but I'm so glad that he came and visited us. You know, Evelyn's out, Leo's aged up, Lucas is aged up, Nathan is also aged up. He lost his dad, our poor baby. And then we ended up having our twins. We have Carl and Rose and another one on the way from Derek. I mean, I think that is very successful, especially considering we made friends with a toilet, you guys. That is like the highlight of my day, having that toilet. Tell me some toilet jokes. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!